So one final word about the inverse Laplace transform. So in general the inverse Laplace transform is not very useful. So nobody calculates it with um has a quite quite difficult definition. So it's quite different to the um Fourier transform where the inverse is very easy to calculate. So this is the inverse and this is usually not calculated. The standard way of doing the inverse is using tables. Yeah, so tables which are depicting on the one side the Laplace transform and then the time domain representation using tables and factorizing the Laplace transforms. into fractions which can be looked up. <laughs>